Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You vs Them. Libra, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Libra, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Libra spirit. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Libra, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, Ten of uh, Pentacles. Somebody wants to now offer commitment, it seems. <laughs> Libra, they're ready for commitment. They want to come forward, maybe send a message and say, I'm ready for commitment. Uh, they have been uh, thinking heavily about this. Uh, they've been pretty stuck maybe for some time. They've been waiting to get unstuck, maybe from a previous commitment or something. This person has a lot of passion for their person. But that I think they're a little scared to take action. Uh, I don't know for what reason. I'll have to clarify because the other person says, what offer? There's no offer. They never offered me nothing. I just wasted some time here. They were juggling me on Karataro. They couldn't make up their mind. I'm very upset and angry with them. I've turned my back on this. I, I can't deal with a situation which is going to only get me anxiety and sleepless nights, stress and tension. So, well, then let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, Sajit, uh, Libra. Uh, but before I do that, let's, uh, let's ask the universe first. What's really going on in this connection? Why are both of you feeling the way you are at the moment? Uh, Libra and their person spirit, why are these people feeling this way what's the deeper meaning behind their emotions right now Libra and that person spirit Libra and that person okay here it is okay so Libra stability maybe somebody here was looking for stability in this connection healing Recovering from past pain or trauma. And the third one is denial. Somebody was in denial of their feelings from acknowledging the truth. I think now they have, but now they are a little scared to take action because they are they, they know they'll probably be seen as somebody who was very selfish or you know self-centered in the past. And that's exactly how the other person is feeling. So let's see. Let's see what uh, what's going to happen. Let's start with some dialogue message cards here, Libra. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Libra and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Libra and their person spirit. Libra and their person. All right, let's take a few more from another deck. Libra and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Okay, and a few more from a third deck as well, Libra, and then we'll start the reading. Libra and their person spirit. Libra and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, good to go. Let's start the reading. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, Libra, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I've been dreaming of you. Yeah, I saw that. This is person A. Let me pursue you. My heart aches for you. I feel like you've moved on from me. You make me feel things I've never felt before. Missing you so much. We truly did have something special. I loved you more than I loved myself. Then I realized I didn't love myself. 
giving up and leaving just seems so much easier than to deal with any more pain. Secretly doing things behind your back. You are the reason I smile. I want to stay with you forever and forever. You deserve someone better than me. You listened to me when others got bored of my stories. My soul always recognized you. My mind was trying to catch up. I think it has caught up because I think this person is now ready to offer commitment. So let's start. Let's start with an angel blessing card here, Libra. Let's see what my angels are going to bless you with today and then we'll start the reading. Uh, oh, there's one more card before that. Sorry. My heart is broken into pieces when I see you with someone else. So they're jealous as well now. Okay. So my angels, blessing, guidance, advice. Or a message for Libra. Don't compromise. Messages for you, Libra. Don't compromise. I don't know which side you're on, but if you're a person A, I mean, if you are even jealous or upset, your person is moving on, you really want your person, go out and get them. And if you're on the other side and your person has been playing games, from which I see they have been in the past, well, allow them to prove their worth, I guess. Don't compromise. Oh. So, now we begin the reading. And uh, newcomers, please remember these are not gender-based. I don't know which side you're on. Uh, you could be either side. And if this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on, who this person is for you. Yes, it could be somebody you know very well, somebody in your soul group. Could be a love interest, a spouse, an ex, a secret crush, could be your business partner, could be your best friend, could be even a relative or a sibling or something. Somebody you know really well who's affecting your energy. So use your judgment on as to who this person is for you and which side you belong. All right, so right now I'm going to focus only on one side, which is person A for me. After I'm done with person A, later we'll move to the other side. So person A, in your feelings, in your emotions, you have the king of pentacles. Yeah, person A, I think, uh, is feeling rather imbalanced because I think they feel they cheated themselves out. They cheated themselves out of uh, having a beautiful partnership because now I think they're ready for commitment. They are hoping that, you know, in time things can, you know, move to a more positive direction or they were hoping that things could keep flowing or something and they didn't have to maybe at that point offer commitment. But I think now they are ready. They want to talk. They want to message. Uh, they, they are dreaming of this happiness now. They are dreaming. They're fantasizing about the other person who they feel that the other person is their happiness is uh, the first of the reason why you know they feel happy when they wake up and when they feel that the other person is not there they feel heartbroken it's like you know everything revolves around the other person they're dreaming they're fantasizing they're hoping that you know things can move forward <clears throat> i think they do want to send a message or something uh, so tell me why do you feel this way person a uh, person a says because i have i'm really missing them all I do in my alone time is I fantasize, I dream, I wish, I really miss them a lot and I I want this person back in my life but the only fear is that after certain truths were revealed about them, maybe they were in a previous commitment already or something, uh, something was revealed and now they feel that the other person is not interested in them or will not give them a second chance. Some, somewhere they worry that the other person is no longer stuck on them, no longer waiting on them, is looking really good and you know, uh, maybe very confident and maybe shining bright elsewhere i think this person is very disappointed right now because i think they they feel dropped they feel dropped by the other person they feel that the other person will never trust me again they are upset and angry with me well, you know the, what if they've already moved on towards new love already uh, will they even forgive me if i go towards them with a for you know asking for forgiveness uh, what if they tell me that oh it's too late you know i've already found new love elsewhere they actually are fantasizing a lot about the other person because they can't take their eyes off person B at the moment. Maybe person B has evolved, maybe they are, you know, 
looking good or they're looking successful or they're moving on with their life or not chasing the person anymore i think the more they are seeing the other person they feel nobody else compares now so at least you know i it's like i can dream about you even if i can't hold you tonight that kind of song i'm getting in my mind but the fear is that what if what if they've already moved on to new love so tell me person a how do you see the connection now and how do you see person b ace of wands what's the ace of wands yeah person a feels that even if they want to return back to their person they can't now lead with passion because somewhere they feel that was maybe the wrong uh, way they tried it in the past what what's this ace of wands yeah this person is feeling they've lost their power somewhere this person has they feel powerless to even take action right now they're scared to take action for some reason king of wands in reverse are they jealous yeah king of wands in reverse clarified by the king of wands in reverse i think this person is fearing taking action for some reason why because they feel that maybe this connection is already ended what if by the time i go back they tell me that this connection is already over they are very depressed they're feeling very unmotivated maybe jealous yeah because either it's going to be a lot of work for them what yeah this person is at crossroads right now and they don't want to come back and feel like a loser in case the other person says i don't want you back anymore or something it's almost like yeah i played all the mind games now if i go back begging and my person who now i realize i love a lot uh, says hey i'm not interested in offering you my love anymore i'm covering it up i've given it to somebody else what if they are defensive what if they don't accept my you know um, offer anymore uh, but i think person a may just i don't know they still do want to apologize they still do want to send a message and of, of apology are they hoping that they can reignite this love but they are scared and they are jealous that somewhere they are also scared i think that the other person has already moved on so something is keeping this person stuck but they're heavily fantasizing have we heavily fantasizing wishing i mean they can't take their eyes off person b that's for sure okay so let's see you'll have to take some action person a this is your action card <clears throat> let's go to the other side first and see how they are feeling then we'll do both the action cards together so person b ace of pentacles in reverse in your feelings and your emotions yeah person b says yes they put me into a third party situation or is this was a friends friends kind of a connection or something where they i was expecting them to make a choice and choose me but they never did omkara taro they had nothing stable to offer me that's the reason i blocked them and i've closed out this connection yes it's totally come to an ending for as far as i'm concerned because the person b feels they never had the courage to come forward and tell me the truth maybe person b feels that person a was lying to them throughout so person b basically says you know what i'm not stressing over it don't worry about me om kara taro i'm not having any sleepless nights over them in fact yes i am already focused on finding new love for myself uh, i don't trust this past person any more and nor do i want to spend any more time valuing in self pity or feeling why did i waste time and why didn't they and what did they do no i don't have time for all that i'm i've already turned my life around and i'm moving on um, you know uh, looking for new love yes they feel that person a just gave them a few illusions maybe just tricked them for a while uh made some unwise foolish choices which have led to a separation or a ending of this connection so person b tell me how do, why do you feel this way person b says because they could make up their mind i told you omkara taro they could make up their mind they juggled me and it made me very upset and made me very angry uh two of pentacles yeah person b says 
they told me probably they were single when when they were not or something or maybe person b is saying i would rather be single and independent and give up on uh, you know being juggled by somebody who could never make up their mind who could never make a choice who could never choose me yes uh, i think person b is become like kind of totally lost hope person b is kind of i think already released this connection why because they're very angry they were expecting uh, something stable something long term something you know with a promise for the future uh, but all they got was a lot of conflict maybe other people in the mix right uh, person b i think realize that this connection is toxic that person only wants passion is being selfish is being self centered is only wanting uh, passion and nothing else and they probably had secrets from them i think for a little bit person b did feel bad they did feel bad that they got played by a player they got they felt bad i think they were expecting commitment and now they realized that they were dealing with a player it did make them feel bad but they turned their life around from what i'm seeing person b says yeah i was in that mode but not any longer now that i figured them out i'm no longer wasting any time on a you know okay so person b tell me how do you see the connection now and how do you see person a three of four wands in reverse person b says i just said that om kara taro i've turned my back on this connection now i'm not going to be somebody's option or you know somebody else has to choose me i'm dropping this connection altogether i've turned my back on this and uh, yes and don't worry about me uh, i am i'm not uh, kind of Uh, losing any more sleep about the lack of victory that I've had in this connection. Look at me; I'm already stabilizing my life. I'm already focused, for sake, focusing on my future. I've already let this go. I'm looking forward to a beautiful future with maybe a new soulmate, not with this one. This one was never ready. They never offered me any commitment. They never stood up for the connection. They were uh, insecure, and uh, yes, I'm letting this tower fall in this connection. talk to me about new love om kara taro i'm more focused on finding new love for myself don't let's not talk about this past person who have already you know given up on now they were just a liar they were a liar they were a coward i'm i'm pulling out those swords that they plunged into my back already and I, according to me this connection is over and out and i have cut them out of my life because i don't trust them yes i promise you i have turned my back on this connection now because they offered me very little and all they did was break my heart but i've healed from that i have left this behind and i have moved on to finding peace and happiness in my own life okay so let's see what actions you guys will take then libra i'm going to take another deck for this one and uh, while i shuffle these cards now my turn may i please request you remind you if you could just tap the like button for me please libra uh, it helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated to do more libra readings for you and uh, newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in so person a action from your end towards person b or otherwise Ace of Swords in reverse. I think they are in the dark. They don't know whether they have a chance or not. What's the Ace of Swords in reverse? King of Wands. They want to. They desperately want to take action. They want a second chance, but because of the silence between the two of you, they are a little afraid. Yes, they are afraid that the other person may have already moved on to a passionate brand new beginning. So I think there's a lack of clarity on their end. Yes, this all this person is doing is having sleepless nights, stress, tension, uh, you know, uh, nightmares that uh, their person is off there, maybe building with somebody else. So they don't know what to do right now. They don't have the clarity. Like, should I take action? I do want a second chance, but what if, what if they've already moved on? It's like they're trying to figure it out, but they can't because I think person B has gone silent on them, right? So yeah, they don't know what to what what to make make out of the fact that person B is looks looking very happy in their own life and you know being looking successful and maybe working on themselves, shining bright, no longer you know chasing them anymore. So it's like they are desperately wanting to talk, 
they desperately want to now move forward but they are scared the other person has already moved on or taken a leap of faith in a new direction so actually person a is kind of going through a bit of a tower right now they don't know they don't know like what what should i do so i think there was a card here which said that um, i keep checking your social media trying to figure out how i can get in touch with you so person b action from your end towards person a or otherwise king of swords in reverse person b is seeing person a as a bit of a narcissist somebody who was uh, playing mind games was very controlling uh, emotionally unavailable uh, just wanted what they wanted when they wanted it 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 was like a person who was maybe very mean and rude to them so king of swords in reverse knight of swords six of cups strength and the knight of wands yeah person b says you know what the reason i'm holding back from them omkara taro i'll tell you why i'm holding back from them and i'm trying to shut this chapter completely is because even if they come back even if they come back this time again they are going to rush in they're going to mind f me totally and uh, yeah they are going to end up doing the same song and dance they did before some way person b feels that the only reason person a would reach out again and again is because they wanted to have get something from person b it's like they are just a player they they probably you know missing my energy and they just want a piece of me again till they uh, come quickly and leave quickly once again so i i don't want that i do i do i'm rather take back my energy take back my you know uh, be strong shut this door because this kind of you know pattern that's been playing out between us this keeps me stuck and bound and tied yes i'm packing my bags now because i know myself i know my i know what i bring to the table i know that i'm marriage material i know that i deserve a partner who makes me feel appreciated who makes me feel a worth it so right now i'm healing myself i'm going out i'm meeting my friends and uh, i'm trying to let go of the past so i can attract in something brand new for myself yeah person b is i think learned to have their boundaries up okay so then i'm going to be compromising from what i feel so well that's what i have for you libra till next time then love and light take care namaste